Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Game. Now in this week's edition we're certainly blessed with a number of different type of assets. We're talking trains, we're talking churches, we're talking a DIY skate park. Let's do this. So let's kick things off with the return of P. Delmo and this week is conifer trees. So these conifer trees are extremely well detailed and available in two different sizes and two different colours. So whether you're trying to detail your town hall or simply brighten up your residence gardens, these conifers certainly will do the job of either. Now is it a bird or is it a plane? No it's not, it's P. Delmo's giant pine trees and these are humongous. And not only are they greatly detailed as always with P. Delmo but the custom LOD is fantastic, especially for a tree of this size. Next we have the return of the Casa and we have the five playgrounds. Now personally, I've always been one to create my own custom parks because they're never really that good in my opinion from the asset workshop, but these Dunarf look great. With the combination of Targa's playground props, these really do take shape nicely. Up next is a personal favorite of mine, it's Mac Welshman, and he's been creating these beautiful UK based houses and sort of commercial shops and I've been waiting for a moment to uh, to show this off in the asset review and I think this week is the perfect example of what his work is all about. These, This one in particular is the UK Terrace Corner Shop and it also shows his ability to create houses as well. The detail is exceptional and if you're creating a European stroke UK city of your own be sure to check out all of his items on the workshop, they will suit your needs beautifully. Excellent work. Up next we have a very different type of asset, it's a ploppable surface pack by Decaza. And well these are perfectly designed for those of you who are a bit more into the eye for detailing. There are 7 ploppable surfaces, 4 props and 3 parks and it's pretty much there for you to create from your own creativity. Obviously using the Move It Mod tool and the More Beautification tool you can raise and lower these to the exact area you want. So you can create roofs or you can cover up some dirty areas. Now a lot of you have been asking why is there no vehicles in the asset review and it's not a case of I haven't been wanting to put them in, it's been a case of trying to work out how to. And I think I've got a good structure now and we're going to show off Revo's Olmsten ETR 610 and what a beautiful train this is. Very unusual look but one that really does make a focal point for itself. This is available as a prop or a 7 or 5 card version. I promised you a number of different type of assets this week and who thought we'd be reviewing a DIY skate park pack. Great work here from 220Hz as usual. Now this comes with a number of different types of props as you can see that have been placed down here. But what I like about this as well is it's built for a DIY skate park but we can use the um, stairs and slopes in different areas of our own custom build. So certainly we can use these different assets in a different variety of areas. Churches seem to be coming around a lot more often now in the workshop, but it takes a good church to feature on the asset review and this week we have Titans St Mary's Church. Beautiful design, excellent detailing and I do love the limited lights here on this view here. It just makes it look nice and homely. Now this to me is more of a village town sort of church as opposed to a main city or so due to the colours, but a beautiful design nonetheless. Up next we have a rusty train station by Tentman. 
This caught my eye in the workshop because it looks so realistic and, well, as expected to see in a lot of areas. A lot of the train stations on the workshop are very detailed, very modern looking, but there is still a lot of these type of buildings out there and I like that realism that this brings to the variety. With its free tracks and beautiful large design, this is the perfect station for any town or city and the nighttime view looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Love the contrast, beautiful orangey lights as well, which makes it look like it's a bit more not so modern build. Up next we have the return of Mr Mason and this time we have a depot building. Now this building is beautiful and to keep up the level of detail for such a large sort of asset really does blow my mind. There's a lot of creators out there now that are starting to do this and they're not scrimping for quantity over quality which is what I love to see. And this particular model can be used in a number of different areas. It could be used in the warehouse, it could be part of a train yard. It's just a very versatile and beautiful asset addition to any of your towns or cities. Up next we have King Leno and he's been working this week on, well, showing off that he can also do some skyscrapers. This is one of two that were released this week and this is beautiful. Classed as a level 2 office Rico settings, the lot size is 7x7 and the custom LOD looks fantastic. I love the glass feel on these new models, they do look beautiful and they, they just look realistic. It just really comes to life and what I love best is this nighttime view. Look at the detail of the individual windows. You can actually see that there is office people in, well, office types of stuff inside. And last but by no means not least, we have the Logistics Warehouse by Ronix. And this is a monstrous building. And it comes in two parts which you can line up very easily against the road but if there's someone who details their buildings well it's certainly Ronix. This is exceptional. For the size of the building itself the level of detail is astonishing. I watched him do this on live stream and he really does have a knack for doing this stuff. I know if we asked him he'd say it is reasonable but thank you Ronix. keep up the great work. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below, let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you would like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.